Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe right here in Tokyo, Japan, and we're going to do a, uh, a type of video I haven't done in quite some time, a Comrade Let's Talk video. Now what is this if it's the first time you've seen one? Well, it's an ongoing series, this is uh, getting up there in a high number of it now. Or I'll give a little update about the channel, about myself, and then um, a topic, which I think you guys will find interesting and kind of unique. Or about the channel, well yeah, welcome back me, huh? I had to take several months off from really focusing on uploading and being on YouTube because I'm um, the baby, right? I was focusing on the pregnancy, supporting the gal, and all that. But now the baby's been born. And some of you have asked about it since I uploaded the video announcing it and showed the newborn baby pictures. Oh, uh, little Kayla's doing fine so far, you know? Just normal baby stuff, you know? It's um, a joy having the baby. A big dream of my life come true, you know? it's um, I like bathing her and holding her and stuff. and. So, so far, it's going pretty good, pretty good. So, I appreciate everyone who keeps asking about it and all that. Thank you for the support and love for that, you know. So, anyways, on to the topic at hand here. I want to talk about this thing called call-out culture, or calling-out culture. Now, what is it? Well, it's something where people call out someone, usually in a public space or online, on something this person said or did supposedly that was somehow wrong and really bad and needs to be need to be called out and ostracized for it. Right? Now usually what it ends up being is a public performance for the person doing the calling out. You know, they want to say, You're a misogynist or you're a sexist or you're a racist or this and that and let me correct you. So everybody can see how good I am and how much of a leftist I am, or how much of a Marxist I am, and how knowledgeable I am, and how wrong you are. And look at me. I'm a super lefty. You know, it's more often than not, it's what it comes down to, and it's what it clearly is. It doesn't really change anything, it doesn't affect anything. It's just someone being triggered or offended and wanting to show off, you know. How, how much they know about things and how bad the other person is. It's kind of, you know, make themselves look good at someone else's expense a lot of times. And it really just is annoying as hell, you know. And like I said, what does it really solve? What does it really fix? Absolutely nothing. It's a useless thing to do. And more, in a, in a broader sense, you're not really bringing the working class together. You're not really bringing a proletariat together by doing this, are you? If you feel someone doesn't understand something or isn't going about things the right way, is it really effective to just do this public spectacle where you just call someone out and start screaming and shouting at the person and try and get everybody you can to look at you doing it and talk about how much you know and how bad this person is and look at you. Aren't you so amazing? Aren't you the second coming of Jesus Christ? You know, what does that do? It creates division. It makes people resentful. You know, it doesn't bring people together. It doesn't educate someone. It doesn't make someone a better person because that's not really your point now, is it? Your point is not to uplift this person or educate this person, make this person a better human being. No. Clearly, that's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to stomp on somebody, an easy target, to make yourself look good. And it's all you're doing. You know, it's kind of like, in another sense, it kind of relates to social alienation, really. You know, it's, and again, someone trying to fill the void that social alienation creates. or trying to reinforce their own personal identity behind some idea or ideology they, they believe in. By getting everybody to look at it and say, look at me, look at me. Here's what I do. Look how better I am than other people. Look at my personal identity and my personal ideology is so much better than this other person. Again, like I say, it can relate to this someone trying to fill the void that social alienation creates through his identity politics and self-identity. But I don't want to go on too long about this. I want to hear what you guys think about this. I just made a few short interesting points here about it. I want to hear what you think about the call-out culture. Leave your comments in the bo comment box below. First time you see me, please subscribe. There's videos like this and other stuff. Like I said, I'm uploading regularly again. So I hope to keep this going, right? So until next time, it's of course John Doe in Tokyo. Checking out.